All right, so um, one of my recent videos, I was playing around with the .8 nozzle, and I was doing some base mode prints and some boron cubes and and stuff like that, and and I was having a problem with flow over around 55. Let's just say 55. Um, and so it appeared that you know the motor was skipping. I was having problems with power, it seems. So uh, I decided to throw on here a Bowden setup, and I'm using two NEMA 17s uh, with you know dual gears, a gear on each motor to drive the uh, filament through Bowden. And I was not able to to get clean prints above the same 55. So, you know, motor skipping, um, just issues. You know, the pressure is just, it's just too much. You know, or the hot end is too abrasive, or, 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 you know, I, I don't know. So, so, the next thing I can try is to put tube on there. Let me close this, uh, we got to run this fan wide open. Uh, right now I'm printing a vase mode uh, annex cube, uh, the 75 degree overhang version. And this is at 50 millimeters a second, but it's a one millimeter line width uh, and a half a millimeter layer height. I can't go much faster than this with that size of a line or I've got cooling problems. In fact, you're going to see here that even with this one, there's going to be some cooling issues. Uh, now granted, it's a, it's a single wall. When you have more walls, I think you can go a little faster. But this is just a single wall uh, fat line with a .8 nozzle. It's not a ton of flow. It is with the Bowden. Uh, and uh, I'm still got more things to do with this Bowden setup. Uh, there's a sheath I need to put on that tube, and I need to make some other parts to make that tube significantly shorter. I want to try to cut that that Bowden length in half. Um, so after doing some tests and seeing that I can even make these two NEMA 17 skip and cause problems if I get up in that above 55, 58, something like that range of flow with a 0.8 at, I think I was at 280 degrees uh, Celsius. I don't want to really go higher than that. I could and it would flow more, but uh, I don't want to go above that, that 275, 280 mark. So the next thing to do is I can put tube on here and I can run the same tests and see if I can get some more flow out of it. Uh, versus this one here. Maybe there's something wrong with it. I, I know I'm down to 89 watts on the heater But it's a it's a pretty decent heater the way it wraps around the hot end um, I did run some other tests with with two before and I saw around the same flow, so Let's let's we'll give it a chance and I'll put the other one on there and and uh, Who knows maybe there's something I'm doing wrong here. I don't know, but uh I sure can't get it to go with with PA uh, at about uh, about 55 MMS3. So let's take a look inside here. So I at least kind of wanted to tune this this Bowden setup, and I thought I would just look at some uh, single line prints, you know, vase mode. Um, 
basically I had a, a, a profile up there for vase mode um, for a vase and I just decided to take the vase out and throw in the annex cube and see um, see how it comes out let me move the camera here So again, this is uh, a one millimeter line width. So there's some overheating here on this overhang. Over overheating on this one also. But you know, quality wise, this this is a nice looking base mode uh, there's a lot of detail lost because of the fat nozzle but uh, it's all right well that's pretty clean the corners look decent um, a little bit of bulge there a little bit there is there too Maybe I should increase that PA a little more, but this is pretty nice. So, so yeah, it looks like a .8 nozzle. Anything bigger than .4 is is seems to be exponentially worse with cooling. So, but I'm pretty happy so far. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, and, and right now I just grabbed a piece of aluminum and made it fit the same bolt pattern as the Sherpa or the VZ Hex. Um, well, VZ Hex is not the same, but that's my spacing is Sherpa, 43 and a half millimeters. So I just made this plate here and put it over this. Uh, this is an old D3D V6 uh, sink that I just converted here for this Bowden. And then I'm using the... Um, the bird air, the aquarium pump to cool the uh, the brake, and I still need to work on this brake so that it, the air can this this single nozzle can can navigate through holes in here. I just haven't done that yet. This is really just a test, just to see uh, to give me more motor power to try and push more filament to see what the effect's going to be and how it's going to print, and just kind of experimenting. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, that dual motor is is pretty pretty wild. That's the boombox. Over and out.